Wow, there's a peacock on the side of the road. That is insane. Hey, pretty bird. One of those bit me before. One of those bit you before? Yeah. We're almost to the Picayune Strand. I don't know how to say it, but I still haven't learned since last time we were here, actually. But we're following this truck. It's leaving all these dusty clouds, and when the wind comes, it sweeps it off. This is where we gotta pay. He didn't pay, he might have a pass or something. Maybe. Fees must be paid online. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm gonna air down the tires today and I've always wanted to know how much skid plate height I lose when I air down. Currently, my 235, 85, 16s are aired up to 40 PSI. That's what I uh, aired them up to to tow. I'm gonna air them down, I'm gonna air them down to 18 PSI today and see how soft See if see if they kind of soften out the uh, potholes and the, the washboard roads here. But uh, so what I'm using here to measure my skid plate height is a stick. So let's see, because I don't have a measuring tape. Yep, that's pretty close. So we'll see how much of that we lose when we air down here. All right, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna do uh, 20 PSI, we'll start with that. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how much height we lost at the skid plate. Huh. It's hard to say precisely, but it kind of doesn't look like we lost that much, maybe half inch at the most. That's cool. Look how, look how awesome the contact patch is down there on that tire. Do you see how, how much of a flat, uh, flat area of it, of the tire is against the ground? That's what gives you the extra traction when you're off-road. Welcome to Picayune Strand State Forest. It's adventure time, right guys? Yeah! Hopefully we find some animals, catch some fish. And find ourselves good adventure, right guys? So we aired down to 20 PSI and I can definitely still feel the washboard effect on the road. I think our old low seat load seat tires when aired down to 20 PSI were a little bit more forgiving. They didn't translate quite as much of the uh, the vibrations to the chassis of the vehicle but I definitely can feel that it's also a lot more squishy at this point uh, than it was aired up to 40 over 40 psi so definitely well worth it and I know there's gonna be a lot of potholes on this road Stuck. You're gonna have to do a lot of running today. Oh, yeah, huh? Man, those things are kind of like quicksand pits or something. I don't even know what to call them. You did pretty good though, I think. But yeah, oh, no, we man, look at the tires. No, no we weren't close to getting stuck, but. Like in all these flowers on the side of the road, they're I really am. pretty. They're really pretty, and they have these little blue, like wasp things on them. Look like you guys bumped a good bit on this. Yeah, I hit that one thing going a little too fast. You're like bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, it's hard to tell how like steep and deep these things are, yeah. but pretty good. But I don't know. So far, these new tires feel pretty sweet, especially aired down to 20. 
these big tires should roll over that little branch really easy. Yep. Man, they have all these fun little detours. This would be really good after a nice rain, I think. Yeah, this would be epic. Epic, like epic after a the rain. Do you see some tri tire tracks? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. The soft sandies. That's interesting. Yeah, this does look interesting. Ooh, man, it looks like people get stuck here or something. What is, what is this? What is that? Ooh. Are those rocks? Yeah, it's just rocks, but this That'd is some really... Cool. All right, go up there, dear. That By the way, uh, this looks like we could get stuck in it. That looks so crazy. Like it's like a hill and then a yeah. hill and then a hill. That is definitely one of the funnest roads I've ever found in my life so far. Seriously? Yeah, you're about to have a real treat. Also, I think it's pretty awesome that the pilot does that well because that's deep sand. Yeah. And I haven't had any it issues at all. Deep. It was like the beach, basically. Yeah. But, well, I mean, it was softer than the beach we've been on. Yeah. All right, so for the audience at home, though, I am rolling in first gear VTM 4 lock on, just so you know. A lot of people take the approach of turning on. VTM four lock on after you get stuck, but I go ahead and use it a little bit proactively and I just change my fluid more often. All right, here we go. Yeah, watch out for the rocks. That's right. Well, that's fun. Big rock thing. All right, we made it through. Ooh. Transmission's still sitting at 150 degrees. The highest I've seen is 150 degrees, so that's pretty good. That kind of felt like it was uh, kind of taxing on the uh, transmission there. Daddy, I just, that's too soft. So I just bumped it back into normal drive. We'll uh, see how it does yeah, without VTM 4 lock. I don't know, there's like all these random rocks. Maybe you should go a little slower through this thing. That might be okay. like I... Oh, that's that? a deep one right there. Tried to kiss me out my window. What? Mud. Mud tried to come in my window. I was using an analogy or a euphemism or something like that. Oh. All right. Let's not go through the big, big one. Kind of feels like we're in the jungle right here. Kind of does. What did you hear over there? I don't know. I heard some sort of something creaking on the branch over there. It kind of creaked me out. Look at that one. We made it as a daddy told us that was really big. a little bit flying out of there. It was not a lot. Actually. Well, this car is not designed to spin tires. My tires are too big. Mm, and too grippy. And too grippy, yeah. We are trying to do maximum traction. Oh, 
If everything goes according to plan, uh, we're actually gonna drive a long ways. I don't even know how many miles. It might be, I don't know, 20 miles off road today. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. far it's going according to plan. This looks awesome. Yep. Woo. I'm really glad that that, that forest truck dude the, from the forest service that I got to talk to him because that gives me some peace of mind that what we're doing is okay. There's all kinds of random weird signs in this place that kind of make it seem like you're not supposed to drive on these roads, but he gave us the go ahead, so. As long as we stay on the trail. Yeah. Although it all looks like trail, even offshoes. Because yeah. people have driven on it. Right. So on roads like this, you can drive a little bit faster, but you have to watch out for the potholes, and it always feels like you can't see them until they're right on you. But if you avoid the potholes, it can be pretty smooth. And you gotta be ready to slow down. And if you get it just right, you can make it through stuff like that, you know, without it being a major jarring to the system. Look at this, guys. We've got open road. Okay, back here in the Strand, they were actually building a subdivision and it never happened. I think there were water issues, like it flooded or something. And basically, Basically, it's just a bunch of roads. Look both ways. Just like a like a neighborhood, but with no trees or no uh, sorry, no houses. No houses. And, and you can't go that way. Well, because they're making it super nice. Okay, now look up ahead. There are these massive potholes. That one's not much of anything, but yeah. you gotta watch out for it's some like of them. Like a ghost them. town or something. It, yeah, it's like kind of is. Like, yeah. Interesting. No, there's no dead bodies. Nothing we know of. But it ends up just being kind of this area where nature took over, and we get to explore it. Ooh, these big piles of dirt look like they could be fossil hunting spots. Let's go Holy moly. Dude, that looks like legit. Go look. All right, let's go see. It's kind of like shimmery and shiny like a geode. I think it might be a part of a geode or something. The first rock you are today. What'd you find? Oh, he found a piece of shell. Very cool. So this, this stuff does have some fossils in there. All right, dude, the speed limit is 30 because there's panthers about. Okay. Remember Evan's song? Driving, driving, popping on the road. There's only a few places where you can actually cross over the canal to the left, and we're coming up to one of them. Right up here. Oh, we're on Stewart Boulevard. But yeah, we can turn this way. Check, check before we stop. This road keeps going across the canal. I'd say the tires right now are soaking up these kind of bumps really well. This yeah, I, great. I really have, haven't really felt that many bumps unless we're like yeah. going into a pothole. Like, or our skid plate was hitting the ground. Well, or that. Yeah, you weren't in here for most of those, but no. skid plate did some work today. Yeah. All right, let's see how much water's in the canal, guys. I see a car up ahead or something, but there's the, remember the dam we fished at, guys? Cool. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna I actually go kind of we're gonna spot. go to the dam, and I don't see a sign, so I think we're good. We do have the boat. No, nope, hey. no boat. Oh, That's there's... lantana growing way out here. That was a little bit of rubbish. I like lantana. Dad, All right, so we've driven this before. Holy moly, it's grown up a lot though. Yeah, it has grown up a little bit. What? Watch out, I, Evan. Wow, a lot. It's grown up a lot of it. It's all right. We're trying to knock it back down for everybody else who wants to go this way. <laughs> it's a swamp. It's a swamp. We do have to be careful, boys, though. Yep, you know what we could find? Look at alligators. Find alligators. Right. Dude, check this one out. Look at this shell. Whoa! No! 
It's really cool. What'd you find? Oh, whoa. This one has tons. Yep. Look how many photos this one has in it. So cute. This show right here reminds me of the little mermaid, the one that is hanging around her neck. Hey. The uh, sea witch's neck, Ursula. Let me see. Oh. That one is really cool. That's a dragonfly catcher boy right there. Daddy's gonna come eat too. Yeah, I am. I'm starving. That one's fighting good, Eli. Ooh, that's a big Mayan Oscar. Grab the line. Oh man, Eli, that was a massive one. Dude, Eli, that's a big Oscar. Oh, Zafira. 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 <laughs> Okay. For those wondering, this is how we fit our camp chairs in this 48 inch Plano all weather box. Works pretty well and eventually we'll upgrade the kids to these ultralight camp chairs. Right now they uh, take more work to set up so we just stick with these other ones. But once we upgrade to these, we'll be able to fit even more stuff in this box. Which be pretty sweet. And just like that, the road is calling again. The road to the unknown. All right, Aaron just saw something on the road up ahead. Yeah, we don't Maybe know what we'll it was. Maybe we'll be able to see. What it kind of looked like a deer. A deer, but I mean, it could be a puma. A panther. Panther. Panther and a puma. Aren't the panthers thing. around here black? Uh, no. No, I think they're like a tan color. Okay, so they're like a No, cougar. they're orange tan, like a but a black deer. I would say it was right around here. Yeah. Oh, there it is! Oh, it is! It's, it's a deer! It's a deer! It's a deer! It's running with us! Whoa! That was cool. Go fast, Dad. Get my photos again. There it oh, goes. Oh, there it went. Wow. That was really cool. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Good eye. Yeah. Pilot looks at home here out out in the Everglades. Getting out now, Eli? He got the spikes off me and Eli. Oh yeah, I did. Cut the spikes off the stem so okay. they can hold them for me. That's nice. We've got a fork at the road here. If memory serves me correct. And it always does. It's this one. <laughs> Alright. We'll see. other side of this gate we can go on both sides and get to this gate why the heck I mean unless they built another gate uh, uh, down that road a little ways that's ridiculous like a little upset about that are you now I'm a little yeah, I'm a little upset little yeah cuz I can get to the other side like if I can get to both sides of it why are you gating me off from it yeah, I don't know. what happened to America it's no longer wild and free yeah, that's Fuck Strand Reserve right there. <laughs> and Fuck it's a state park. 
You can see it on the sign. Oh, Why am I being cheap. blocked from a state park? <sighs> Let's go look at this water at least. All right, you can go. I gotta go simmer down. He is going to simmer down. So there's a gar in there and an alligator. Ooh. So I actually think we should fish for just a second, see what no, we catch. I don't want to fish near an alligator. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Okay. Here's the alligator, right over there. Hope you guys can see him. Oh, so he's on there. Yep. Eli. Dude. What did you hook into here? Oh, oh, oh careful, careful. All right. Oh. All right, Mama. You gotta be careful. That big old shark. And they wrap, they wrap around themselves too. All right, hold on. Well, that was a quick release. That was a quick release. But at least we to, caught, at least we caught something I was nice. About to grab it. Good job, Eli. Well, Dang. I think, I think he did that on purpose, or we wouldn't get bit. Yeah. Eli, look at those teeth marks. Let me see. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? Garden, hey, Evan, that? let's recast your bait right in the middle, okay? Yeah, I want to show the cat. I'm going for it. Look at all the catfish jumping the in this. One. Dad, the bait. Yeah. He's right in front of you. Look at all the catfish oh. jumping up in here. That's crazy. Well, it was cool that we got to catch uh, another big gar in that little And I caught it, and the gar the catcher. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's the second time that we've tried to do this epic off-road trip. If you keep going there, it goes for quite a ways, probably another 25 to 30 miles and it ends up being this awesome really big loop that uh, goes back to 41 I believe it's 41 and then we'd be able to go back to my grandparents house and when we first came the other way uh, from the Fakahachi State Park um, this is a long time ago at least five years four or five years ago probably um, we made it through there was no gate and we made it to this park and I was like, oh, this is so cool. But we had to turn around because I didn't know where the exit was for this park. But uh, so then I did my research, found the exit. Next time we came back, uh, which was just a couple years later, probably it was only one year later, that gate popped up. And last year it didn't have a sign that said closed due to wildlife sanctuary. It just had no information. So I assumed maybe it was like, like the wet season and the road was out of service because of the, the water and stuff. But me I think it's silly because I'm still pretty sure that if we had enough time to go around the other way we could I think make it to that gate and at that point I don't understand what they're even doing besides just ruining adventurers and wanderers like myself ruining our fun well something sounded funny what is it just a piece of the flap came like, untucked or something. Yeah, we're not quite done with all the trimming, but even on this trip, barely any rubbing. Yeah, a little bit here and there. But... Yeah. The oh man, that mud hole has been muddier. But she's just acting. Oh my goodness! Look at all that mud on the oh, window. No. How dare you? We need to do that again. We need to do that. Uh oh, look who's behind the wheel now. Look, Ma, no way. Danger time. We survived Picayune Strand State Forest. We got a lot more mud than I was anticipating. We found a really cool track with that loose sand, which was super fun to wheel in. We got some really cool slow-mo that I can't wait to show you. The new tires definitely impressed me. Aired down, they definitely helped cushion out the, the bumps and the traction was just intense. In any mud hole and all that sand, I never felt like I was gonna get stuck once. And uh, yeah, so 
Uh, stay tuned for more adventures. We are heading over to Uari National Park in about two weeks. So we're gonna do some off-road trails there. And uh, stay tuned for more modifications and upgrades. Thank you for all of the support uh, for Patreon and for subscriptions and likes. You guys have been killing it. And I'm gonna do my best to keep creating good content, content for you guys. Um, and uh, keep those comments rolling. I really love hearing them. I'm doing my best to answer them, but when I'm on vacation, it's harder, especially when I have bad cell service. Catch you guys later.